Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to start off by thanking my good friend Samir Saran for his kind invitation to address you in the Rising Dialogue. And also hope and wish that each and every single one of you is safe, secure uh, during these difficult times. And for those who have lost a loved one, I would like to offer my sincerest condolences. COVID-19 has been the greatest divider that humanity has known in recent history. It has created detrimental impact that has far succeeded any of the world wars that we have seen. And collectively, we are fighting an enemy that none of us can see. Now, what COVID-19 has proven is that no one is safe until everyone is safe. And that certain trends that were, also, that were already being pushed through in the past are being accelerated by this pandemic. And finally, that we will have to ensure that the future that we move forward to and in post-COVID-19 is a future that everyone everywhere embraces and that is positive for all. Through the past years, we've seen that certain countries and certain sectors were able to thrive. What COVID-19 did was it created an equal playing field for some sectors and devastated others, and also brought many countries back many decades from progress. So we need to try to ensure that all lessons learned across the planet are lessons that are good for everyone, everywhere, and that we can embrace this change in a positive manner. Even though COVID-19 created a lot of negative impact, there are certain trends that can be seen as positive. Some of them include the ability to work remotely anywhere on Earth. So countries will have a lot more flexibility in attracting the best talent. And talent will have the right incentives to move across the planet and migrate to wherever they will have the best quality of life, to wherever they can thrive, and to wherever they see themselves as operating from. This combined with certain other factors, like education being able to be delivered remotely, and healthcare as well, being able to deliver from your smartphone, is going to create a huge opportunity for certain countries and companies to attract the best of the best, as well as a huge burden on some countries and companies to retain the best of the best. This challenge brings us to a focal point, which is that it's no longer going to be a competition of big versus small, or reputable versus new and nascent. It's going to be a competition on how can you derive the people's passion how can you ensure that the individuals that live or work on your, on your land are individuals that feel like they are changing the world? And finally, how can we ensure that we are serving a greater purpose than just monetary gains? We've seen through COVID-19 that economic inequality has been exacerbated. And we've also seen that there has been a huge social disparity between the richest and the poorest of people. Moving forward, we need to ensure that for this to be sustainable, we can bridge the gap. And for this to be sustainable, governments can try to create some sort of unique and um, baseline scenario where people can have some sort of income that ensures that they have a normal life compared to the situation that they were in before. I wish that this convening is a part towards the solution. And I hope to see you in person, hopefully after this pandemic is over. Finally, I hope that the world is able to overcome this pandemic soon and that we'll be able to return to normal life in the near future. Thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck.